Another video, bow. What is up guys, it's your boy Lex Money. Welcome back to the show. It is Monday, and what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything guys. We need to trade every single day like it is our last day guys. We need to be taking these times of the dip super seriously. Now, as always guys, you are coming through strong. I am like so close to 8K. We're gonna be at 8K by the end of this week. And at 10K, we're doing a big giveaway for the first 10,000 subscribers. So again, if you're not part of the family already, then go and make this close to 40%. If you are part of the family, you guys sit back and chill. Oi, oi. All right, guys. 36. Fear. We're back in fear. Now, I made some silly mistakes last night, guys. I, the, the greed got the best of me. I tried to make a very short-term degen trade for ICP. Didn't go too well. Guys, we come to the ICP chart, and it looked like we had formed some sort of head and shoulder. So you've got the left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And the breakdown target would have taken us to around $6.20. Now, I shorted it at around $7. Don't at me for shorting it. You guys do what you want, okay? I wanted to double up. I think I shorted like 50 ICP, so it's not even not going to do that much. I wanted to get another 50 ICP out of here, right? So it was a 10% correction. Lovely. Went to sleep when it was around $6.60. And then what happened? Had a bounce. Got liquidated. Came back down. This is why you don't play the greed game, okay? I told you this in the last video. I played the greed game. Don't do it, guys, okay? So you guys can leave some hate comments in the comment section right now for me shorting ICP. But I was doing it to just try and hold some more, guys. Now, with that being said, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they've been going ham recently. They've been up, they've been down, they've been up, they've been down. They don't really know what direction they do want to go in. You will see that we're hovering just on this line of support, guys. So is it support? Is it resistance? We're going to find out very soon. I'm sure we're going to find out at some point this week. But for now, I mean, trying to trade these moves. I mean, look at the wick to the upside. Look at the wick to the downside. Now, before we do get into a bit more of the market stuff, guys, look, please go and follow my Instagram. I'm going to be trying to grind this one out. And this is like a bit more of like the BTS stuff. And I'll be doing Instagram lives. I'll be doing Q&As on there as well. So, But yeah, let's make sure we try and run this up. We're doing some giveaways on there as well. Should we do ICP giveaways? Should we do USD giveaways? You guys can let me know in the comments, but the giveaways will be on the Instagram. Now, while the sentiment is quite bearish right now, even though we are not bearish, we're very, very bullish long term. Look at this. There's some more bullish news coming in. Vanek officially files S1 for its spot Ethereum ETF. And again, look, they're filing for these ETFs. I think they're preparing for something very, very big to happen. And they want to be getting a lot of inflow in before that big move does start to happen. Now, just look a quick little disclaimer from yesterday's video. I did say to you guys that the German government bought back Bitcoin. It actually didn't buy back Bitcoin. It just couldn't sell the entirety of of its Bitcoin, it could only sell half, okay? So what they've done is they've actually sent the remainder of their Bitcoin to Kraken, Bitstamp, and Coinbase. And it looks like there could be some more selling pressure here. Again, this is not FUD. I do not care whether they sell, whether they don't sell. Like, quite frankly, if they do sell, I'll buy the hell out of that from them, no problem. It's gonna instill a lot of fear into the market, guys. And especially if there is gonna be some selling pressure, even though, like we said, for the daily volume, it's like pennies people are still going to be getting shaken out. The market makers will be making the most out of this news article, guys. Now, we've said that the 2019 cycle has been very similar to the 2021 cycle, guys. And it looks like Bitcoin is repeating the pattern one-to-one -one, or like almost one-to-one, -one, guys. Exactly the same thing has happened for 2024. And in 2019, we did come all the way down. We had a massive bear trap. We technically lost support and then found it again, regained it like it was nothing. And look where we are right now in 2024. Now, one thing that we do need to know is the market does act seasonally, okay? Seasonally, season, market seasonality is a thing, basically, guys. Now, we usually see the biggest gains in crypto summer to crypto fall. Every single cycle, we've had a slow grind in crypto summer, parabolic in crypto fall. Slow grind in crypto summer, parabolic in crypto fall. Slow grind in crypto summer, parabolic in crypto fall, right to the end of crypto fall. Now we're in our slow grind in crypto summer. 
2025. So January 2025, is this going to be crypto fall where we do have our last leg up for Bitcoin for the alts where everything goes parabolic. We go to that euphoria stage and then everybody wants to buy back in. The retail tries to come back into the market. For everybody saying that the cycle's over, um, we're finished now. We haven't even got to the euphoria stage, guys. In every single cycle, we've got to at least the top of the belief, just peeking into the euphoria stage of the cycle. We're like right at the medium right now, guys. And look where we are at the neckline, trying to break the all-time high. We all knew that it takes a few months. We said about three months maximum for it to tackle that all-time high and then break it, flip it from resistance in to support and then we have an amazing time but until then the market is going to be very very choppy guys there's a lot of open interest that was added earlier today complete wipeout of that price action happened i mean the more people that are starting to go long the more it's going to go short the more people that try to go short it's going to have these retraces back up the market makers know that everybody is trying to be as greedy as possible and people are trying to prepare for like the next leg up and they want to be getting their leverage positions in as low as possible i mean getting a leverage position on bitcoin at 50k this time next year, we're going to be thinking, oh my God, I wish we could have got that leverage position. So they're making it as hard as possible for everybody to be getting those positions. They're getting stopped out, guys. And that's contributing to the choppiness of the market right now. All right, do you guys remember when I made this chart? It was like, it was like a week ago or two weeks ago. I gave this to you guys. And I said at the bottom of this range is going to be our 50X, okay? 50X all the way to $150. Now, I haven't even changed this chart, but I said, look, we've got a head and shoulders here. If we break this pattern down, we could have something like this come down to like $6.26, this level of support here, and then we bounce again. Look what's happened, guys, from that $8.74. I mean, I don't like shorting too much, even though I did yesterday. But if we just took that short here, we could have had a nice little short entry and then picked up more ICP to accumulate or entered some longs, guys. But Look, we still have this in play from this head and shoulders. It was a massive head and shoulders. And really, if we call this the neckline, the breakdown target should be somewhere. It should be like somewhere around here, guys. So it could be going lower than $6. We've got that $5.96. This is saying about $5.15. Again, I've done this like very wishy-washy. So don't put like your house on that. But guys, I mean, we could still have a little bit way to go lower. Again, Bitcoin is doing crazy things right now. It's trying to flush out as many new investors as possible. But you best believe me, if we do get this $5 ICP, you and I, everybody in the comment section, all of the Lex Money family, we're going to be eating that up, guys. Okay, let me know if you're going to be eating up with me. But right now, let's see where we're going to be from now to our $150 price target. And we are no longer in a 15x, guys. We're in a 20x. We're nearly at a 21x from today's price prices to $150. Do you guys think we're going to be getting to $150? I am not changing my mind. I'm going to be sticking to the plan that we originally had. Yes, these pullbacks suck. Yes, the narrative does still say, stay the same, guys. And I'm not getting fudded out by all of these anons in the comments telling me ICP is whack. You guys are whack, right? <laughs> not, not the family, but the anons in the comments, you guys are whack. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. That's it, guys. Let me know how you're feeling about ICP in the comments. Remember, please be sure to smash that like button. Go and drop me a sub. Go follow the Instagram. Go and drink some water. Touch some grass. Hug your family. See you tomorrow, guys. Peace.